What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Rocket Wolf Gaming, coming to you guys with a brand new game. First look at the game called Surviving Mars. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All right, we are going to uh, be getting into this game. Let me get the info for you guys. All right, so let me get let me read this real quick. This tells you a little bit about the game, so we're going to get right into it. So this is how it starts out, colonizing Mars and discovering her secrets with minimal casualties. That is the goal. Welcome home. The time has come to stake your claim on the red planet and build the first functioning human colony on Mars. Don't I wish. All you need are supplies, oxygen, and decades of training, experience with sandstorms, a can-do attitude to discover the purpose of their weird black cubes that appear out of nowhere. With a bit of sprucing up, this place is going to be an awesome. Surviving Mars is a sci-fi city builder all about colonizing war, uh, Mars and surviving the process. Choose a space agency for resources and financial support before determining a location of your colony. Build domes and infrastructures, research new possibilities, and, you, and utilize drones to unlock more elaborate ways to shape and expand your settlement. Cultivate your own food, mine minerals, or just relax by the bar after a hard day's work. Most important of all, though, is keep your colonists alive. And not an easy task on a strange new planet. There will be challenges to overcome, execute your strategy, and improve your colony's chances of survival while unlocking the mysteries of this alien world. The question is, are you ready? Mars is waiting for you. <laughs> I love it. I love the intro to this. All right. Let's get into this. We're going to get into it. All right. So the game is set up pretty much. Let me turn down the music a little bit. There we go. I don't want it too loud so that I can't speak over the music. All right. So there's a lot of things we can do. There's some free updates, as you guys can see right here. Uh, tutorial, new game. You can load a game. I, if you can see, I don't have any game because you are watching this the same as I am first foremost right on the uh like first look at it uh challenge mode and creative mode so the creative mode is uh, create a colony that imagines a test on how it works without worrying about survival threats so that's one thing here challenge mode obviously is going to be with some parameters and also some obstacles this is a brand new game where you used to start out the mission all by yourself from scratch but because we've never played it we are going to do a tutorial and the tutorial looks like it gives you five options. The basics. Hold on a second. It's still too loud. Let me turn that down a little bit. Okay. There's the basics, exploration, maintenance, colonists, and drones or domes. So let's start with the basics because I have no idea about the game. This is my first look. I love the music, by the way, in the background. Love the music. I love the artwork. It's pretty cool. Welcome to Mars. In the training exercise, you will learn how to gather basic resources from the Martian surface, how to construct a small base, and how to refuel the rocket in order to send it back to Earth. Let's get started. Achievements are disabled during it. Well, of course. Woo! Okay, so you can... Sorry, I had to look up here. I'm scrolling my mouse. I wanted to see what it does. Okay, so hence, uh, let's do that. Zoom in towards a suggested landing site. Okay, where's the suggested landing site? I'm assuming that's the suggested site. Oh, and then... Use your WDs. I gotcha. Okay. And M. Okay, let's land it. So there's the little button. So you, oh, you got, you pick it where it's supposed to go. There we go. I guess they, they pick it for you when you first start out. Q. Cool. Move that out of the way. Oh, that's pretty cool. Very cool. 
Like that. We're in Soul One. There we are. We landed. What are these guys? Touchdown! So it says gather five metals in metal deposit, which I don't know how to do yet. So I'm assuming they're going to show me. So open the build menu by right-clicking on your mouse, then follow the arrows to the metals depot. So that's the metals depot because it's pointing to it, I'm assuming. It says storage, but I'm assuming that's that. Oh, I see. Depot. And metal depot. And where do you put it? Let's back up a little bit so we can see what we're doing. Where do we put it? I'm assuming next to depot. Make sure it's close to the rocket. Oh, I see. How about that? I get it. So then use the control spacebar to pause. So you can pause it. Okay. And plus to increase the game speed. Minus to. Oh, I gotcha. And then minus to take it off. Oh, I gotcha. So we can go really fast. Oh, I got it. So you can speed up the process. I get it. I get it. Okay, let's go. Place a universal depot near your rocket. So let's back up a little bit so it's normal. Okay, so where do we go for that? So right click on that. And universal depot. Since we're going to put it right next to it, let's put it next to the ship. So we'll do that. Okay, concrete, I can see that. So I'm assuming we're gonna right click again, go to that, the concrete extractor, and that's where they want me to put it. How do you rotate it? Is it R? Or oh, just like all the other games. Okay. Cool, so let's plus it so they can go faster. Oh, that's cool. Check it out. Oh, that's pretty wicked. I love that. Wow, they're going fast. That's cool. Of course. I figured that. All right, so I'm assuming that's a little power thing. So place a sterling generator. So I'm assuming right click. That's the power sign. That's a sterling generator. So where do we put the sterling generator? Obviously this is blocked, we can't put it there. So I'm assuming we'll put it right next to it because I have no idea, so we'll put it there. I have no idea what we're supposed to do. So we'll do that. Oh, they have little lights, oh that's cool. That's... Power cable, oh, that's power cable. So we go from here to there, I'm assuming. Right? Did I do that right? There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. So let's back up a little bit. So what do we do? Place a concrete depot getting dark and I can't see of course it's got to be dark uh, and dump site near your concrete extractor okay so that's storage that's a depot concrete I'm assuming we'll put it right next to it so it's a little bit closer I'm gonna do right here I think yeah okay I got it now what what do we do now oh Oh, we got to put it next to it. Ah, there we go. So there's got to be a site. I get it. I get it. Build a drone hub and make it uh, supply with power. Oh, okay. So let me see. Right click. Infrastructure. Drone hub. All right. So let's do a drone hub that's close to the power. So we'll do that. That's cool. I love how they, they construct that. Look at that. How close can I get? Oh, wow, that's pretty close. So I'm assuming it's going to need power, so we're going to do that. 
Where's the little power thing? So that's the power cable. I'm assuming you're gonna go from here to here. Is that right? Did I do it right? Guess we'll find out. We did! Sweet! Build a recharge station near the construction site. Okay, I get that. Uh, so right click. So that's gonna be infrastructure. Recharge station. We might as well do one right there. Why not? It's literally right next to it. <laughs> there you go. See, it connected all by itself. So that's good. Build a moisture vapor, uh, vapor and then a fuel refinery. Okay, so let me back up a little bit here because I don't know what they're going to... So we're going to go right-click and then there. Uh, moisture evaporator. So I'm assuming it's going to want power. So let's put it right... Where can we put it so that it makes sense? How about right there? We'll put it next to the power thing. That's so wicked. I love that. That's cool. And it's right next to it, so it powered. I don't have to use resources. But it says that needs power. So this needs power. Does that mean I need to do one more? Let me see. Oh, it needs a fuel refinery. Okay, so put that in. I'll put, I'll put it next to it. That's it. I will do that. So this needs power. I wonder why. If one's not enough, I need another one. Enough. Ah, yep, that's what it is. Okay, so let's put power. So we're probably going to do this. There's the power. Uh, let's see, where's the power? There it is right there. Sterling power. So we'll probably need another one. So let's put it, let's put it up here. Right next to it. We'll do it right next to it. That way... It doesn't have to reconnect. It's right next to it. It should connect all by itself. Yep. There you go. Connect the moisture vibrator to the refinery pipes. Okay, so that makes sense. So that means we need pipes. So this is what? Life support and pipes. So we want to connect, assuming this, 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 that. Is that how we do it? Oh, there it goes. Refuel the rocket. Refuel the rocket. Okay, so let's see. Assuming. Wait for the refinery to produce fuel and drones to load it to the rocket. You can select the rocket and check out how much fuel has already been delivered to your panel. Status off. Metal fuel. Oh, this is cool. I love the stats. Waiting on fuel. So it's got one right now. It just did one. So let's do the plus sign to go a little faster. Or do I need to get out of this? I have to wait. <laughs> almost there three we're on three that is cool I'm gonna have fun with resources are low I know since this is a tutorial select the launch button cool there it goes very cool where is it going? Why am I? Oh, it must be it. <laughs> Woo! -hoo! Tutorial number one in the books. Play the next tutorial. Rovers expand. All right. We're going to do uh, tutorial number two. Rovers. Oh, that's going to be fun. Okay, select the RC transport. That's this one right there. Uh, 
How do we move? Oh, uh, use the right, okay. Move the vehicle to the area indicated by the arrow with the RC transfer. So that's that one. Then we go right here. There we go. Okay, so you have to highlight the vehicle first. Cool. All right, so what do we do? So we take this. Let's see. Select the RC tra uh, transport and right click on the fuel depot. Assuming, is that the one? Right? Oh, I see. So you click on it, the little thing icon comes, and the vehicle comes to load it. I don't know where the rocket's at. Oh, it's right there. It's right over here. Very cool. Okay, so what is it doing now? So loading, load resources. Yeah, see, it's loading. It's, it's minimizing it. Load 30 on the transport. What do we got? 16, 17, 18. It's getting there. Can we plus it? There we go. So it's a little faster. There we go. Let's see. What is this? Oh, it did it. There we go. Slow it down a little bit. Give a command to unload resources on a storage. Wait until it's all empty first. Okay, it's almost done. 13. I did that already. There it goes. Okay, so now we launch the rocket. There it goes. Sweet. Okay, so what do we do then? So. So what do we do with that? So press and hold, press and hold. Okay, so. And drag all four orphan drones. One, select the user, assign. Oh, I see. So if we go like this. No, it doesn't do it that way. Reassign. Let's see. Reassign vehicle. How do we do that? Press and hold. That's what I did. Press and hold. See, it won't. Huh. That's right there. See, where am I supposed to send them? Oh, back to base. Ah, I gotcha. So, okay, I think I got it now. I got it now. Okay, so we go like this. Oops. There we go, like that. And then this one, and then go like this. Oops, going all over the place. That, ah, it just keeps on going. <laughs> hey, I'm just getting the hang of it, okay? Let's see. 
Where the heck am I now? I lost my, there he is. There's the other guy, right there. Click that one. Oop. See, look, it just keeps on going. Stop! All right. There we go. Okay, how do we do that? We do that. Right click on that. And it'll just come grab it. So is he picking it up? Yeah. There it is. One, two. Speed it up a little bit. As he takes it all in. There he goes. Okay, let's do that. Where are we going? As soon as that's that one. Doesn't tell me where to do it, or is that it right there? There we go. Then all. Then right click. There we go. I think that did it right. Okay, where's the dude? Select the rover. I did. Create transport. I did. The regular universal pro as a starting point, and then from the pop up menu, all resources, and then near uh, what was the base. And I did that. And then how do you start it? There he goes. So is he doing it? Do, or did I do it backwards? Guess we'll find out. Okay, he's picking up stuff. And then where's he going? Why is he going over there? Where the heck are you going? Oh, I love the music. Holy shit, this is good music. Apparently that's where he needed to go. I did not know that. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Is that mission accomplished or what? Oh, I see. You can also do it manually. Okay, so then let me go back over here. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did this all wrong. That's why we... Quit it, quit it, quit it! Stop! So don't hold your mouse too long because apparently it does its own thing. So that goes there, but it says number two goes right here. Hmm. Da, da, da. Hmm. Where's my vehicle? Where's he at? There he is. Okay. See, look, it just keeps on going. Stop! Stop! Okay, so right there. Alright, so let's see here. Create, transport, load resources. Okay, so that's what I did wrong. So the load resources is supposed to be number one, which I didn't do it right. Oh, right there. And then unload resources, 
which is right here. I did it backwards. That's what I did. And I didn't do it right. So that makes a lot of sense. That's why you do tutorials so you can learn. So that when we do an actual game, we're able to do this correctly. So then the vehicle will come here, load up whenever he shows up. I don't know where he's at. I don't know where he's at. So, move the RC command to the side of expan uh, of expansion. Okay, where's he at? Right there. We mm, call drone. Right the drone prefab. So, do we go? Huh, interesting. So many options. So it says it's idle. Still says it's idle. So the question is, how do you find it? Like, oh, there it is. Look, there's that one vehicle. Sorry, I was playing with the drones while this one was doing its thing. Oh, that's cool. Sorry. Shouldn't be playing. Is it almost done? Yep, almost done. And boom. I should have done it. I'm assuming it's doing what it's supposed to do. There's the other one. Hmm. Thought I've accomplished what they wanted me to do. Let's see, remove it closer to the designated area for the expanded. Oh, wrong vehicle. It's this one. Where's that? There it is. That's where I want you. I'm assuming that's the one they want me to do. There we go. I was wrong. So there's different vehicles that I didn't even look at. I thought they were talking about the transporter. Whoops. Construct a sensor tower and a sterling generator to, to power it. Okay. All right. So what do we do here? No. Stay over there. Uh, so uh, construct a sensor tower. Let's see, that's Drone Hub. Let me see the map overview. Okay, I didn't know what that was, so I needed to see. That's the transport. Okay, that's good. So I'm just finding different areas. I'm playing around because I've not, uh, I've not done anything. So we'll we'll look at that in a minute. Okay, how do you do that? Stop that for a minute. See if I can figure this out. 
give me a hint, would you? Go to sensor and make sure. Okay, how do you create that? Close. Do, do, do. Let's do build. Sensor tower. Oh, and they want me to put it right there. Then they probably want me to do power and then they probably want me to do one of these we'll do that right there well thank you thank you very much uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. thank you very much okay so i get it so you put these resources on the outside so you can put these sensors which in turn sweeps around the entire area to see if there's any things any other resources okay i get it i get it makes a lot of sense now and I'm assuming it's going to need power. There we go. Cool. Let's do it. Go to the map overview, which is that one. Okay. So we're going to do, they want me to scan this one. So we're going to do this. So add Q, that's what I just did. Oh, I see. So you do that to scan it. And scan E4, one, two, three, four, E4. Where's E4? That's E5, E6. Let's analyze the anomaly. Let's see. Where's that vehicle? There it is right there. So we want that, that vehicle to go right there. Okay, I'm starting to get the idea now. So left click on the mouse versus right click on the mouse. That's, that's also a thing that I'm going to learn. Scanning. The anomaly has an eyeball. And there's the analysis. So once that done, it's probably going to tell me what it is. Let's see what it is. Ooh. Open the research screen. So it's kind of like a tech tree. Oh, I get it. It's like a tech tree. So they want to do the robotics. Each has cost and research points. Okay, I get it. So like that costs us. So we have three to five. Uh, so what does it cost? So, oh, there it is. Research cost is a thousand resources. Okay, that makes sense. All right. So we've done uh, tutorial one and tutorial two. We're going to stop it here. I'm going to do another video for tutorial three and four and five. So now that I got a pretty good idea. So let's, uh, we'll stop it here. Get you guys an idea. If you guys want me to do uh, more of this, uh, I'm going to do the, the whole tutorial for you guys. So that way you guys learn. And then we'll do one full game of this on uh, on later but later on let me know what you guys think about the game itself um i love the music really 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 love the music it is really really cool i can't wait to see what they uh what this has more in store obviously this is not it there's so much more so let me post this i'll catch you guys on the next uh, video this is your boy wolf rock gaming coming to you guys with another brand new game hopefully you guys will enjoy it we'll see you later Peace.